Madam Chair, I yield myself such time as I may consume. Madam Chair, today I rise in support of H.R. 5283, legislation sponsored by my colleague from New York City, Congresswoman Maliotakis. This legislation would protect our national parks, prevent wasteful spending, and hold the Biden administration accountable for its failed border policies. The Protecting Our Communities from Failure to Secure the Border Act of 2023 would prohibit the use of any federal funding, leases, or contracts to construct housing facilities for illegal immigrants on our nation's federal lands. It would also put an end to the legally questionable lease that the Biden administration signed with New York City to house thousands of migrants at Floyd Bennett Field, which is owned and managed by the National Park Service. Madam Chair, our national parks have been described as America's best idea. They are places we go to experience the outdoors and spend time with our friends, family, and community. That was true of Floyd Bennett Field, which drew an average of one million visitors per year for its ice skating rinks, petting zoos, UC cadet programs, bird watching, bike races, and much more. If you go to Floyd Bennett Field today, you wouldn't see any children on playgrounds or fishermen dotting the shoreline. Instead, you would see massive tents hastily thrown together over the last few weeks to house 2,000 migrants in semi-congregate facilities. This tent city has been called, quote, a recipe for disaster. Local Democrat and Republican elected officials, the U.S. Park Police Union, the Legal Aid Society, and the Coalition for the Homeless have all spoken out against using Floyd Bennett Field as a migrant housing facility. The Park Police Union testified before the Natural Resources Committee that it was a, quote, law enforcement nightmare and public safety disaster in the making, end quote. Numerous organizations have raised concerns about inadequate bathroom facilities, cramped sleeping areas, and hazards for children. The local fire department has said the area is a fire trap and lacks basic safety features like fire hydrants. If that wasn't enough, the entire facility is located in a floodplain that floods even on days with light rain. Maybe the Biden administration would have known about these issues ahead of time had they not tried to get around the National Environmental Policy Act by improperly declaring this as an emergency. Perhaps it's no surprise that when the first busloads of migrants started arriving at Floyd Bennett Field, they turned right back around and refused to stay there. Migrant families are now warning each other against staying there, saying that the site is freezing cold, babies are suffering, it's not suitable for children, and believe it or not, there are no televisions. This entire boondoggle has been a colossal waste of time and American tax dollars. And why are we here? because of failed Democrat policies. President Biden has failed to secure our border, leading to a record number of migrant apprehensions last month. Liberal New York Democrats have turned New York into a sanctuary city whose right to shelter laws will cost an estimated $12 billion over the next three years just to house undocumented immigrants. The mission of the National Park Service is to conserve the natural and cultural resources for the enjoyment of future generations, not bail out the failed border policies of the Biden administration. The use of emergency declarations at Floyd Bennett Field is a result of a man-made problem that President Biden is responsible for. The border crisis is everywhere in America. It's everywhere now, and it's what's happening at Floyd Bennett Field and that is something that highlights the failures at the southern border. This is the Biden administration's legacy for the National Park Service. Congresswoman Maliotakis's legislation would ensure that federal lands throughout the country, including parks in her district, in my home of Hot Springs National Park, and the Grand Canyon in the ranking member's home state, remain natural wonders, not tent cities for illegal immigrants. I'd like to thank Representative Maliotakis for her strong leadership on this effort. I support this bill and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves the chair.